this podcast. This Welcome podcast, to the vlog! This podcast is called um, Katie Shelby and Emily trying to make up names and also personalities of characters that we don't know. Yes. This so, is an incredibly long name. The, per- <laughs> the premise is we have collected pictures of characters from anime specifically or shows. Show cartoons. Cartoon animated television yeah, shows. Yeah. Or movies. I don't think we did any well, we did. Did we? I don't know. Who knows? Something like that. And we will be showing them to each other and then asking each other what they know about the character or what they can make up about the character. Yeah. And there is going to be a video component of it available as well. So if this if this <laughs> This podcast sounds really clippy, clippy and fuckered up. It's Katie. That's fine. That's <laughs> my fault. <laughs> okay. Number one, Ty Lee, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Okay, <clears throat> this is a character from Avatar: The Last Airbender. <laughs> yes. It is a female, I assume. <laughs> you want to give him a name? Problematic. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think her name is Ashtara. We're gonna um, we're gonna give, give a disclaimer that we're gonna be doing a lot of assumptions. That's the that's the that's the game. That's though. the point of it, yeah. yeah. Ashtara the Earthbender. Okay. And she, um. <laughs> really something is so stupid. Anyway, go ahead. She's a potential love interest for Aang, which means that. Katara doesn't like her. Not friends. They're not friends. <laughs> um, I just realized there's no way she's an earthbender. Look at what she's wearing. She's clearly Roll a firebender. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. We're, we're, we'll stick with it. She, she's clearly a firebender. I just want to, I just want to point that out. Um, and she, her favorite pastime is to create stairs out of earth and climb as high as she possibly can. And then the subplot is that <laughs> she gets stuck and she loses <laughs> her confidence and then Aang has to help her get down. <laughs> Am I right? You want to say, like, who she's friends with? Okay, so I said, so she likes Aang. Like, they're, like, it's, like, a, a romantic, uh, romantic possibility. Because I feel like that comes up a lot in the show. Yeah. Like, every other episode, they're like, oh, this is a new potential love interest. For someone. Usually it's Katara. <laughs> yes. And How many episodes people. have you seen? Like five. Okay. Just for context for the people. For context, I've seen like five episodes. Yeah, it's not like I'm blind. Like some of these will we will be I've never even heard of this thing. Yeah. Um She is not friends with Sokka. Sokka she likes Sokka. Sokka doesn't like her. Because he doesn't like her pet. She has a pet. Okay. And her pet is a turtle. Just a turtle? Mixed with <laughs> a <laughs> mixed with a rabbit. Okay. Turtle rabbit. Turtle rabbit. Tortoise uh, in the hair. Yes. Is it fast or slow? It is exactly medium. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most medium animal known to man. <laughs> And the pet is, like, antagonistic toward Katara and Sokka, and so Sokka doesn't like her. Okay. And there's, wait, wait, with Avatar, there's always politics involved, so, which I like. Do we have a timer on, maybe? Probably, yeah, because I can just keep going. <laughs> this will be the last thing. Uh, politics. Okay, so she is from a village of earthbenders who doesn't support... Who supports the Fire Nation, which is oh. just like never, yeah, and so they're like kind of outcasts because. Which is why she's wearing a Fire Nation outfit. Yes. Oh. Don't help. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're like, wow, this is really strange. Why would you support these people? They're literally like tyrants. Or they whatever. killed my mother. <laughs> 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 Whose mother? So- oh, Sokka and Katara's you know mother. You know that yet? I I guess I just assumed it's because a, the Fire it, Nation attacked. Well, you knew she wasn't alive, right? <laughs> I I guess I hadn't really thought about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is it 
it like a big emotional moment? No, like, it's it's a it's a uh, meme that like Katara, uh, every time something happens with the Fire Nation, Katara says, "Thank you, my mother." <laughs> Which is like, like, I would be pips too. They just <laughs> they just walk by seeing the group of Fire Nation like cooking a meal, and they're like, "Thank you, my mother." <laughs> All right, so that is my summary of Ashtara the Earthbender with the turtle <laughs> rabbit. Okay. Cool. Well, we can't even tell her that much because we don't want to spoil it. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's, her name is Ty Lee. Okay. So um, she's definitely from the Fire Nation. Not a firebender, though. Oh! Okay. Should, should I not have said that? That's fine. That's basic information. I, sometimes I forget that, like, there's just normal, normal people. people in this universe. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, I don't think we can reveal much else, can we? Was I right about the turtle? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. But she, she does have a pet, right? Because Shelby made a face when I said that. I think she likes animals, but she doesn't have a pet. Oh, not that I know of. Okay. No. It would be a little bit difficult for her to have a pet. I only made a, made a face when you... You got some things right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, the you said about Sokka is kind of true. Oh! <laughs> she kind of likes Sokka and he kind of doesn't like her. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, anyway. All right, Ty Lee. Good cool. one. Number two. Toya. Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh! It's this guy! <laughs> so what's, what's he from? <laughs> um, so he's from Yu Yu Hakusho. No! Oh. Um, his name is Dr. Pisces. <laughs> That's Dr. Dr. Daddy O'Connor. <laughs> he looks like, he has like Pisces colors, does he not? I mean, yeah. He looks like the fish, um, that one fish. With the rainbow scales. The rainbow, oh. rainbow scale fish. Okay, um, so they fight this guy in the dark tournament. Um, who's that behind him? <laughs> <laughs> Those are his. I don't even remember his name right now. <laughs> those are his um, like I lackeys. Like, I feel like I always forget his name though. Those are his lackeys who are on his his team, his dark tournament team, <laughs> and they like they're kind of like the guys from like Lord Lord Farquaad's guys from Shrek, who like don't have eyes and they're like number three, pick number three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They kind of, they remind me of the Tagoro brothers. Mm. When they're wearing clothes. It's the, to- okay, okay. So it's the Tagoro brothers in disguise fighting, because they're not allowed to fight. Wait, no, they do fight. I don't know. Don't they have, like, a stake in the, in the tournament or something? <laughs> <laughs> so they team up with this guy. <laughs> and they're, like, telling him what moves to do. Um, he is a fish demon. Who do you think he fights? Um, Good question. he fights Kurama. And, and in their fight, Kurama's like, he puts, <laughs> pretty much predict what happens in Kurama's fight. <laughs> he puts a little seed in him. <laughs> and he gets really pissed. <laughs> more because she's she's never gonna watch it. She doesn't mm. care. He kinda looks like I don't know, kinda reminds me of like a Pokemon. Um <laughs> He has he's an airbender. <laughs> Look at all the wind around him. Um that's all I know. Alright. Yep. Okay. Well, that's the only guess I can make I, the only thing I can think okay so in New York so they always have like a a, gr- a grudge <coughs> in the dark tournament. Like there's always a reason why they're they're fighting them and they're mad. Which, like, some of them, they're just athletes. They're, like, bimbos. Or himbos, sorry. Some of them are described as a himbo! This guy's not. This guy... Oh, wait. CCC, he's a himbo? Yeah. Oh. This guy... <laughs> 24 hours Extra of dead pause. space. This guy... Is in love with Botan. Okay. And so that's why he's mad. Interesting. That's the best I got. All right. That's what I got. You know what's funny <clears throat> about this is that she said Karama, which was right, and I was like, does she remember, or is it just that statistically, any character who's an adversary in the Dark Tournament, you could guess it's probably that they're fighting Karama. Because I feel like he fights more than other people. Am I crazy? He fights a lot in this round. Yeah, he's, yeah. But also, like, the mass Fighter doesn't 
fight in every single round. No. Yusuke doesn't Yusuke fight, doesn't fight in every round. Yusuke probably fights the least. Cool bar does. He's always asleep. Cool yeah, bar it's like... <laughs> Yeah, he does. He spends the entire tournament asleep. <laughs> so it's like the all asleep. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, statistically, like if you pick, it's more likely it's gonna he's gonna be fighting Kurama, Hie, or Kuwabara. But also, you like kind of just look at the characters. That's what I was gonna say is that they usually have Kurama fighting other pretty people. Ah. Usually, Hie is fighting like a monster type character, and then Kuwabara is usually fighting like someone really strong. Yes, yeah, or then he fights the himbos. Or he fights like weirdos, like, like Rinku. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Character. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> what's his name? Toya. Toya. Okay, so oh. Toya. He's an ice demon. Who's Suichi? <laughs> he's the ice master. <laughs> Did you just? <laughs> <laughs> Suichi is Kurama's human person. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I'm thinking of someone else. Suzuki. Yeah. That's the clown. Okay. But I think everybody's Suzuki. <laughs> Okay, okay. It's um, all, it's, sometimes it's Suzuka. It depends on the dub. It depends, yeah, it depends on the dub. <laughs> but anyway, the original Suzuki. Um, the anyway, Ice Master. Yeah. So, yes, he fights Kurama. But yeah. get this, get this. Kurama doesn't put a seed in him. Kurama <laughs> puts a seed in himself. Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> to fight him. And it is the death plant. And <laughs> he implants himself with the death plant. So when I said it, you could probably guess what happens. In the, and I meant to say, like, Kurama almost dies. Oh. <laughs> so that's what happens in every one of Kurama Kurama's takes fighters. some sort of wound to his stomach or torso, and then Kurama almost dies. <laughs> Kurama that tries really point. hard to die, and somehow <laughs> dies. Kurama <laughs> <laughs> again! <laughs> um, that's yeah. why he fights the most. <laughs> yes. yeah, he's the one who's always like, I'll take this one. And that's like, <laughs> like, no, Kurama, don't do it. <laughs> he's like, no, no, I'm ready to die. <laughs> Who are like, don't be a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> what was the other voice that you were doing? <laughs> it, it must have been he. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Yusuke? No, <laughs> so Yusuke just goes, Of <laughs> uh, The people behind him are not Tagoros, but they are his teammates. Yeah. They look hilarious. They do. They do look really funny, actually, when you were like, who are those people behind him? I was like, oh my god. This is Bakken and Risho. Yeah. This is the three of us, um, with one of us taking her taking their turn coming after mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> the We're in the background with our clothes. <laughs> <laughs> in the reserves. You'll never guess what I do. <laughs> um, anyway, so there is a, there is an airbender on this team. It's Jin. Holy he's shit. Jin the Windmaster, but that's not him. Oh. Um He's the ice bender. Yeah, he's an ice bender. Um, <laughs> he wants to win the tournament because he wants to be free. Oh, yeah. They're like, what do you mean? They're like they're ninjas. Like... They're like spirit ninjas, but they're like undercover all the time. They're like spirit ninjas from the demon world. It's, it's like weird backstory that is never fully explained. No. I feel. They're, they're like, they like live in the dark or whatever. He has a speech, right? And, and they want the island. Oh, yeah, yes. they just want the island. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was a really interesting insight when she said, that, like, there's always some sort of grudge. Because yeah. you, you, like, you make a really good point, especially given that it's a fighting tournament. Yeah, there's very few it's people who are game. just there to fight. And they <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's a hilarious sort of, like, like um, like um convenience. What is that called when it's something? Contrivance? Like, yeah, it's a hilarious sort of contrivance because it seems like only the groups that you, that the Yu Yu show game yeah. fight have something, have something important that they want. Yes. Everybody else just like just they don't fight. care, <laughs> or they they're specifically there to kill Yusuke. Oh yeah, a lot of them are specifically. That's the type of thing I was saying. Like if you came here as an yeah. athlete expecting to fight, you're gonna die. Like if you're not fueled by some sort of like primordial rage, I would come to the dark I would say that a high percentage of the people who fight in the dark tournament just die. That's true. Oh, or if you're a guest, or like not a guest, but like a. An oh yeah, member. audience members also die. Well. <laughs> like quite a bit. Okay. Anyway. Good um, job. Number three, Yami Yugi Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, I know him. That's <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then his name is Yugi. But that was, is that is that the evil Egyptian guy version of Yugi? So there's like there's like Yugi, but who's like a like a dainty little like man child. Um, <laughs> and then he's got like a pal. He's been like possessed by like an ancient Egypt spirit, right? Egyptian spirit. Seems a little problematic, is but I'm pretty buff? sure. He's kind of buff. Yeah. 
I think all the other characters are kind of buff. Okay. Regular Yuffie's not buff. <laughs> okay, so this is ancient Egypt Yuffie. Uh, am I, am I, am I saying something wrong? No. Um, he, does, they, he does have a specific name. I don't know his name. Cat. <laughs> Let's go with um, Catechus. Okay. Catechus is his name. Um, and he's angry. Uh, I don't know what he wants. Uh, I think he wants the world to worship cats. He's mm. angry that not enough people worship cats, and somehow um, that translates into playing card games. <laughs> <laughs> um, in my life so far. I really don't understand how the cards come into it, but I'm pretty sure he like he still fights with cards, even though he could trample anyone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he like, he's chaotic, he's like lawful evil. That's his alignment. <clears throat> but he could just step on your throat and kill you. But instead, he wants to make fun of you and like, like laugh at you. And like, you, you use his cards to trump you. Why does he look like he has his hand on the stick? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think um, is around his neck? Um, like the long chain? Yes. Um, okay, so it's a, there's a long chain around his neck, and at the bottom of it is, like, a like a lock. Like, what are those called? You need, they're like, like a padlock? Padlock, yeah, it's like a padlock. Um, and he needs to find the key to release all the cats from the... <laughs> <laughs> from within, from within him side. Him, in, within his body. Cats inside him. Yes. He is made up of cats. <laughs> And the cats have entered Yugi's body, <laughs> and sometimes take it over, um, and it's only triggered by, uh, meows. Mm. Yeah. Okay. You could, you could be right about all those things, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got everything I knew about this person. Um, and he has, he's, he's got a favorite, he's got a, he's, he doesn't like Yugi because Yugi has a stupid deck. Mm. Um, and he has a different kind of deck that's like filled with like really angry characters. What do you think his favorite card is? <clears throat> his favorite card is like a really fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> like Guyo. Um, and he's got like really big claws, but it's like barely recognizable as a cat. It kind of looks like a dog. Um, and it's like brown and it doesn't have any whiskers. And it's got a, a nick in his ear, like Bob. Mm, mm -hmm. um, and its ability is that it breeds fire and electricity, and um, like it can like project claws out of its mouth. It doesn't scratch; it like shoots claws out of its mouth. <laughs> okay. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> this is Yami Yugi. Yami Yugi. And everything you said, except for the stuff about the cats, was like pretty much. I like Catechus better. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, I don't even remember what his favorite card is. I think it might be the Dark Magician. I don't know. Anyway. Is that a padlock around his neck? No, it's actually a, it's like a, an upside down pyramid. Uh, yeah. I, think I don't remember what it's called, but it's what makes Yami Yugi come out. Why does he, why does he? <laughs> don't wake the Yami Yugi. I think he like lives inside of it. And then... You like, you do something, and Yugi is like a. There's like an anime transformation. See, okay, we're now we're back to just we. None of us know. <laughs> none of us know. There's some sort of like anime transformation, and then Yami Yugi's out, and he's really angry, and his voice is a lot deeper, and uh, then he goes back inside the little. What does he want? Why does he possess Yugi? <laughs> what does it want? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure that he has like a want. I think he's just there. Me. Millennium. <laughs> Is the Millennium Eye? No. No, it is not. Somebody else has that. It is the Millennium Pyramid. You got a collar around your neck, you kinky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Honey Senpai. Oran High School Host Club. Okay. Okay, I can look? Yeah. Alright. I know what this is from! Emily made us watch the first episode of the show, and I actually liked it. This I is... That. Really? I remember making her watch some of it. I was there. I oh, watched the we first watched episode. The whole thing, didn't we? Oh. The, but I watched the first we episode. We didn't watch the whole thing. We watched a lot of it. This is Oran High School Host Club. Okay. 
This is one of the, like, okay, so he's a host. Okay. I, why do I feel like he has a twin? Does he have a twin? You stopped moving. That makes me think he might have a twin. I mean. I can't answer that. <laughs> he's holding one, somebody right there. He's, so he's holding a, okay, so the premise of the host club is that it's like, it's like male sex work. It's like <laughs> these boys <laughs> are in this club and the girls come and talk to them. And I don't really know, are they selling something or is it just like, they're it's just, just here. Like, like time. Just like hanging out, hanging out. Okay, so they get paid to be there. No. No. Okay. All right. All right. So that he's he's in the club, and I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that his name is I um I I Ayaka. 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 Okay. And he is his like thing is that he's the cute he's the little one he's like the cute little one who may or may not have a twin and um yeah he's the cute little one it's like kind of a weird thing given given the premise but um his hobbies are drinking tea because everybody in the host club drinks tea uh miniature golf not regular golf miniature golf (laughs) And sounds like a man who can play regular sports <laughs> golf. <laughs> he's clearly a child. I, I'm gonna guess he's like 12. And um, his third hobby is karaoke. He loves karaoke because he can hit all the high notes. Because he hasn't gotten through puberty yet. Who's who's that he's holding? That is his bunny. It is um, it is it's he actually doesn't have any sort of like emotional attachment to it. It is purely there for like character, for like appearance. It's like a prop. Like he he's like I don't actually care that much about this bunny, but it's here to make me look cute and adorable because I need to look cute and adorable. And that's it, my role. What's its name? Buster. <laughs> that's from Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Can I change oh. it? <laughs> no. Okay. Stick with us. What is his relationship to the main character? Oh, oh yeah, okay, right. So the main character of the show is a girl who they think is a dude, and she joins the host club. Or maybe it's a gender non-conforming person that they think is a dude. I'm not sure. Anyway, she thinks of him as like a little brother. It's like a little, a little friend, a little brother, hanging out. Down the street. Good to see you. <laughs> little brother. Okay. That's Do you have any, any other relationships in the, with the host club that you want to wanna think about? I'm trying to think of, like, other members of the host club. I mean, I feel like they all kind of baby him. Like, they think of him as, like, the cute one. He's, like, adorable. Everybody looks to look out for him. Um, and, yeah. We're all, we're all, they're all friendly. Everybody likes him. He likes everybody. Secretly, he's plotting their deaths. <laughs> okay. He's a secret Sith Lord. Okay. That's all I got. How'd I do? Pretty, pretty fucking good. Honestly. Does he have a twin? No. Damn it. So this is not this <laughs> is not the twin, the twin character. There. Oh, there is a twin character. There are twins. Okay. Um, this is Honey Mizuka or Honey Senpai. Oh. He is actually a third year high school student, which means he's he's the old one of the oldest people in the club. How old is that? Like, uh, like 17? 17? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he is, the boy will eat to type. Okay, um, okay. His buddy, na- his buddy's name is Uzachan. Okay, I would never guess that. No. <laughs> I'm a buster. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he is very much like, like, he's very much about appearances. Like, they, they do point out several times in the enemy that he acts specific ways to appear cute. Um... I don't know if I would say that he doesn't have any emotional connection to his bunny, but um, I definitely, like, he definitely carries it around to, like, appear to look a certain way. Um, he is, his duality is that he is actually, like, a master kung fu artist. Whoa! Yeah. He's, like, extremely deadly. Oh my god! <laughs> um, and he really loves cake. <laughs> yeah, he strawberries specifically or any flavor. Yeah, oh yeah, he loves strawberries. <laughs> but he loves, and he'll like he'll eat any kind of cake. Okay, same. Um, 
Yeah, but I mean, it's pretty fucking good. So, yeah. Cool. And well, this show is great because it's it's like specifically making fun of reverse harems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So all the characters kind of have that sort of duality. Number five, Kagura Inuyasha. Um, I almost said, this is Kikyo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember this not Kikyo. <laughs> I was like, you guys, how dumb do you think I am? <laughs> I almost put Shizuku in here. <laughs> so um, so this is from Unuyasha. Um, she's the fan lady. <laughs> she's... I'm really try. I want to really try this time. Um, okay. She fights with fans. Um, she's a she has a sibling. I don't know who her sibling is, but she has an important sibling. It's either like a little brother who she's really protective of, or it's like a twin sister, who's like a mirror version of herself. Um, what is that thing that she has? Is that bread? What? A basket? Is there something like underneath? Her I sleeve? think that's her belt. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, I she... I can see how you'd think she was carrying that. She must be a demon because she has red eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Just using context clues. Um, uh, I don't know. She's really really pretty. Is that like a plot point? She's like really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and so Inu also doesn't want to attack her, but no. Kagome hates her because she's like pretty. <laughs> so she's, she's a level of interest for Inuyasha, as if we need another one. <laughs> um, and she she wants Inuyasha to in, to invest in becoming a demon full time, like invest like a full demon. <laughs> she's like, if you can invest some of your demon energy into my stocks, I can get you to be a demon full time. Wait, did you give her a name? Uh, no. What are you going to name her? Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, she's from Feudal Japan. I know. Sarah! I don't, I don't know how to make up a Japanese name. Letters K, A, and Z. Casey. Uh, or good <laughs> bet. <laughs> good bet. Okay, Casey. Cool. That's kind of a cute name. Um, yeah, she's just really pissed. I don't know. <laughs> she's really mad. Um... She's distantly related to um, the wolf guy. So, Proto? Proto? <laughs> distantly related to that guy. Anyway, um, yes. She yeah, she wants him to become a demon full time so that they can be together. Um, and he's like, no, I won't do it because I love Kagome. And she's like, I'm going to hit you with my fan. <laughs> and she does it and it really doesn't make that much of a difference. She expected it to. Um, and then she gets defeated in some way that's like pretty mildly misogynistic because that's kind of what happens in Inuyasha. Um, she transforms into a spider at some point. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? That's, yeah, that's it. That's all I know. Unless you have follow up questions. Does she die or does she just turn into a spider? She dies. <laughs> she, he like he, he kills her. He straight up kills her. That's what I think. Her. Okay. So this is Kagura. Kagura of the fan. Oh, she's related to Naraku. Yes. Ah. So I was going to say, it's actually creepy the number of things that you managed to like pick out of your brain that were real. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Because so isn't Kodo the name of her sibling? Maybe. I'm not sure. But yeah, so Naraku has like a bunch of like, Koga. Koga's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Naraku has a bunch of, like, what are they called? They're called something specific. Oh, yeah! But he just, like, drops off, like, globs of himself, and they become creatures that he can, um, like, manipulate. Are they, they're not, like, avatars. They're, like, are they? Like no, children. that's not what they're called. There's but a specific they, word that they use. Yeah, there's... Homunculi. No. <laughs> but all of them have this spider tattoo on their back. It's like a scar. Because Naraku has the same one. Um, I'm pretty sure her sister's name is Kodo. Wrong. Her sister's name is Kana. Am I wrong? I, I don't remember. That. She does have a sibling. Yeah, though. and, it, and it, well, she has several. Yeah, um, that's true. But the one she's seen with is like a little, small albino girl with a mirror. Uh, what is her name? I don't remember. 
I know who you're talking about. Um, I can't look it up. She's in New York show too. She does die. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler, she does die. Um, okay. Near the very end. She dies mostly because of Naraku. She tries to, like, abandon him. Horcruxes! That's not it either, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, she tries to, like, abandon him. She doesn't actually love in- uh, Inuyasha. She loves Shishomaru. That's what ah, I was going to say. She loves interest. Her brother. Where's Shishomaru? Yeah, I know who Shishomaru is. <laughs> it has nothing to do with her. <laughs> because he's actually ace. Am I wrong? Um, yes, you are wrong. Because <laughs> 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 he literally has children in the second season series. No, but you can I have thought children you didn't like ace. that. I thought we weren't shipping that. Um... I I am conflicted about it. Emily is always canon above everything else. Even, yeah, that's even that's reasonable thing. age gaps <laughs> <laughs> and species gaps. <laughs> yeah. like, you're gonna that's the whole series, Katie. Species gap. That's right. what it's called. That's, that's the right. translation. Um. So yeah, honestly, like pretty good job. Yeah. Is the show where we have to even two? No, no he's, he's a full demon. demon. That's like part. Of, like, that's that's like why they hate each other. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing about Inuyasha is that I've, I have seen everything up to Koga. Like, I have seen it. I have watched it. I know you have, because that's what I was going to say, is that, like, I watched Inuyasha, like, pretty much obsessively. Because I watch you, I've watched Yu Yu Hakusho, like, on and off since I started watching Inuyasha, but Inuyasha I watched, like, that was the main show that I watched. And I was trying to think of, like, the year, like, how old you would have been. I started watching Inuyasha in 2003. And I watched it pretty much obsessively for like a year and a half. So how old were you? How old were you in 2003? Oh, three? Yeah, eight. Yeah, so when you were like eight or nine, you watched a shit ton of Inuyasha. I remember taking the, the videos, I think borrowing them, and like actually watching them on my own time too. Wow. Um, and Which isn't the same as the Yu Hakusho. Show. Like, I've, I've watched you guys watch the Yu Hakusho Show <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. So. Well, the other thing too is that when we talk about, like, watching up to the wolf guy, that's, like, 25 episodes. So you can watch those over and over and over, as opposed to Yu Yu Hakusho, which is, like, 100-something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. There's, like, 150-something in the Asha episodes, not even including the final act or whatever it's called. I just never watched them. No, I know. That's the funny thing is that I'm the one who has seen all of them. Somehow, some way. <laughs> Number six, L, Death Note. This guy's from Death Note. I don't know which one he is. He's the creepy one. I don't think he's the one with the notebook. I think he's like L or something. Is that his name? Or is the other one with the notebook L? No, the one with the notebook is Light. This one's L, I think. Um, I don't know <laughs> what he has to do with anything. <laughs> but he's fucking weird. Like, he sits like that all the time with his, like, hands on his knees. He's just staring at things. Um, he's a little bit on Dede. Um, he likes. Um, he likes to kill people. He's willing to kill people to get who he wants to. We call that a murderer. (laughs) (laughs) No, but it's specifically like surrounded around the the person he wants to date. Oh, Um, he wants to date. Still a murderer. He wants to kill someone. That's a serial killer. (laughs) Um, he wants to date. Serial killers kill people they want to date. Just so you know, I'm not trying on this. This is sort of like balderdash. Like Emily just kind of does whatever. I'm like half trying. (laughs) Um, he wants to date light, but he won't admit it to anybody. Um, even even himself. He also wants control over the Death Note because it would make his killing sprees way easier. (laughs) Um, but he again, he doesn't want light to know that. Um, and convenience is anything. Yeah. (laughs) How he gets involved? He used to be a police officer. And then he realized that he wanted to kill people. <laughs> so he stopped when being he a police officer. That, there's no going back. <laughs> <laughs> so he stopped being a police officer. And then he figured out about Death Note. Hang because... on, I feel like that is the perfect profession for someone who wants to kill people. Ah. Am I wrong? <laughs> no, you're not wrong at all. But I'm telling you, I'm not In I'm Japan, not it's a little bit different. Oh, yeah. right, okay. Um, I'm not even sure if their police carry guns. I don't think they do. I have no idea. I think um, they ride bikes. <laughs> Me as a police officer, not carrying a gun, riding a bike. So like, hey, get out of the street, bitch. Um, and I don't know. Is he like? He's like. He has something to do with demons. Perhaps he like. Um, he like signed his soul over to a demon. Um. What do you think he likes to eat? Mochi. 
Just mochi. Just, just like specifically like peach flavored mochi. Oh, God. What does that exist? <laughs> um, he likes it a lot when it looks like a little butt. <laughs> Finds that really entertaining. He never laughs at anything. Mm. Okay. Never laughs. He rarely speaks. How old is he? Twenty eight. Um, he wears a lot of eyeliner. He sleeps in it too. He doesn't wash it off. <laughs> he sleeps like that, <laughs> crouched with his hands on his knees like that. What kind of shoes do you think he wears? Um, he wears Nikes for sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. Not like, but he buys those brand brand spanking new. But everything else he buys from a thrift store or finds from the trash. <laughs> Um, he doesn't have a job, but he occasionally steals from the people that he murders. <laughs> oh, um, and that's it. That's all I got. All right. How'd I go? You were you were pretty close with the mochi. <laughs> I'm sure he eats a shit ton of mochi. <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely L. Okay. Everything else you got. <laughs> but it's okay. It just makes me realize that like. We should watch Death Note. Yeah. Because y'all don't know anything about Death Note. I feel like it's really more. Look, you've read it, haven't you? I saw the movie, the live action movie. <laughs> oh, I have no. I cannot vouch for that. I've never seen it. Um, I mean, I've never. I without having ever read the manga or watched the anime. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. I feel like it's a, a lot more interesting than you guys would think. Okay. He's the. I'll just say he's the lead investigator. Oh. In the show. So it was great. He's like a really top of it. Sort of. <laughs> Also, he does not wear Nikes. He usually isn't wearing any shoes at all. Oh! <laughs> that was a trick question. Mm, yeah, that makes sense. an asshole. Fucking <laughs> creep. There's this really great shot in the anime where he's drinking coffee, and he's, like, talking, and he's picking up sugar cubes and putting them in his cup, <laughs> and he keeps doing it until the cup is, like, it's like a pyramid of sugar cubes. <laughs> 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 it looks really, like, sweet for coffee. Yeah, he does. He, he does. Yeah, that's why I said mochi. Yeah. How old is he? No idea. I'm not even sure if he knows. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like a big fucking freak, right? Like, oh, he's such a freak. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was the vibe. That was... And, oh, the other thing you got right is that he secretly likes elbow, or he secretly likes light, but won't tell anybody. Ah, that's definitely true. Okay. Yeah, I knew that bitch was gay. <laughs> I'm gonna gay. I can smell it. <laughs> Through the screen. What does it smell like? Gay. <laughs> what do you mean it wasn't smell like <laughs> Number seven, Onion, Steven Universe. Alright. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of people here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so mainly just the person in the middle. Okay. Is this Steven Universe? <laughs> <laughs> I, it doesn't really look like Steven Universe, but... It's Cartoon Network. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> is, is Steven Universe on Cartoon Network? Are we allowed to say... Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> guess that this is Steven Universe. Based on the nose, it looks like a, it looks like Pearl's nose. So, I'm gonna guess it's Steven Universe. This person is very small. <laughs> and they have torches. And everyone looks really alarmed at this person. This person. <laughs> so I'm going to guess that it is a child. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a child with torches, which is just not a good thing <laughs> for anybody. They're really pale, which kind of makes me wonder if they're also a rock. Like, are they a rock space alien? Are they a space alien we baby? Them, we call them gems. Are they a, a gym baby? Baby! <laughs> baby. A gym baby with fire that they should not have. <laughs> um, may, I feel like this is a character that is like either about to or has just finished making a very important speech that no one's really listening to. <laughs> because <laughs> they are holding fire. And everyone's like, don't do that. And they're like, no, but listen to me. <laughs> this is very important. <laughs> so they were fin just finished making that speech, or they're just about to make the speech. And I've, where are they? Are they inside, like, a submarine or something? Like, I feel like I'm seeing portholes. 
This is a lot of people, too. I didn't realize there were this many characters in Steven Universe. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think their name is? <sighs> Micah. <laughs> okay. Micah. This is Micah. They are non-binary. And Shelby's nodding approvingly. For, honestly, on Steven Universe, you've got like a 60% chance of that <laughs> about anyone. Yeah, you should probably just like not guess at the gender. <laughs> You're never gonna know. Okay, and so Micah is um, uh, trying to help the humans, but the humans are very distracted by the fire. And so they are not really listening. But Micah is out here, you know, trying to do things and trying to help them. Uh, but nobody's listening to Micah, which is really sad. Where is, like, what is the, the Micah's backstory? Backstory? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Micah is the child of Pearl and... She's about to finish that sentence. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way you finish that sentence, it's gonna be hilarious. Pearl and... Pearl and... Wait, they're gyms. <laughs> so... I feel like they could do asexual re- reproduction. So it's just Pearl. Okay. It's Pearl's offspring. Only. <laughs> I feel like they look like Pearl. Maybe it's Pearl and a person? Like, can they breed with humans? Now it's you and I'm revealing how little you know about <laughs> Like unlike some of the other things, I've literally not seen a single like minute of. <laughs> I've seen more of My Little Pony than I have Steven Universe, um, which is not because I don't like it. I just literally haven't sat down to watch it. Micah is Pearl's child that she didn't know she had, and came from space, and is maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Micah's out here to fuck shit up. Maybe they are like setting fire to people. Oh, set fire! <laughs> it's like they're a demon child. So, what is this Micah's relationship with Steven? Micah hates Steven. <laughs> Micah wants Steven to burn. <laughs> okay. But Steven's like, he's a pacifist, so he's like, please don't <laughs> set me on fire. <laughs> And, um... Honestly, that's, 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 that's exactly something what he would say. Please <laughs> <laughs> don't set me on fire. And, uh, yeah. Everyone's, like, really alarmed by this character. But, um... How many people in this in this slide do you think are reoccurring characters? Only one. Okay. Wait, Including I... Micah or beyond Micah? I think Micah. But I, w- I kind of want to see more from, like, the Japanophile girl in the back. <laughs> She's wearing like the flag of Japan on a t-shirt. Okay. I think I think he's the only one because it's the eyes. I think oh, he's okay. the only one, okay. or they are the only one because of the eyes. Okay. It's a very expressive expression. Okay. Expression. No idea where they are. I'm guessing on a submarine. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? They have a musical number. Okay. <laughs> And that's it. That's all I got. How'd I do? This is hilarious. I have no idea what this scene is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just impressed that I managed to get Steven Universe. I, I, this is hilarious because we we did you dirty a little bit. We picked one of the most cryptic characters in the show. <laughs> it's I like when you play you... 20 questions, but you don't actually know any of the answers. Is that what it is? <laughs> Everything, like, your progression of trying to figure out who this is is exactly, like, the journey of every Steven Universe watcher. (laughs) (laughs) Trying to figure out what this is. You know, okay, so the funniest thing to me was when you said the speech and the musical number because this character never speaks. (laughs) He does, he just doesn't speak English. (laughs) Or any human language. Oh my god. Barely, though. Cousin it? Kind of, yeah. Barely, 
Yellowtail. Oh, I guess you're right. I guess that's, I'm thinking of Yellowtail. Yeah, he, 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 like, whispers. Sometimes he whispers to people, but, like... Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Who's mom and stuff. Yeah, um, this is not a gem. Okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. you're right, you're right. He's not a gem. He's not a gem. He's a human. He's a human child. His name is Onion. He's so pale. Yeah. He doesn't have ears either. Go he outside. doesn't have ears. He, um, oh. his name is Onion. His mother's name is Sour Cream. No, what? His, his brother's name is Sour Cream. His and mother's name is Vidalia. Um, what the and his fuck? father's name is Yellowtail. Is he's, that also Onion? I feel like fish. it's a fish. It's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fish fisherman. fisherman. Vidalia's a painter. <laughs> Sour Cream likes to rave. Um, and oh Onion God. likes destruction. Ah! Oh, I finally <laughs> got there! It took me a minute. <laughs> um, actually really likes Steven. Oh, like Stephen okay. a lot. Um, probably too much. Um, <laughs> every single episode with Onion is a journey. <laughs> they rarely, if ever, make sense. I think this is a passing scene, is what this is. It's like a reference it's... to, like, Onion being crazy or something. Yeah, I don't think it's, over. this is not a, this episode, this, this scene is not an episode from uh, an Onion episode. Okay. This is like a passing scene. It's like yes. a joke. It's like yeah. a bit. Somebody has referenced Onion and this is what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows that onion should not be wielding fire. <laughs> um, the Japanophile is not a reoccurring character. Damn. The girl at the top left, she's a reoccurring character, and the boy at the bottom right uh-huh. are reoccurring. And the, the man at the top right is kind of He's a recurring background character. Yeah, he's right? a recurring face. Not okay. a re- like he doesn't have like a personality or a name. Um but yeah, onion. Uh, that, there's nothing else we can say about him. <laughs> there's very little else to say about Onion. Given, like, a hundred chances to guess that character's name, I would have never, never. guessed Onion. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even a thousand. Why doesn't he have ears? <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca! Um, also hilarious, <laughs> the first thing you said was gem child, which is hilarious, because <laughs> gems are never children. And then... This bitch asks, I know. <laughs> can gems and humans reproduce? <laughs> Which is the premise of all of no. <laughs> And she's like, Pearl has a baby, and we're all... <laughs> like, Pearl, like, <clears throat> having a child in the first place is hilarious. Like, she doesn't even like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's not necessary what for gems... What is wrong with her? It's not necessary for gems to eat, so she doesn't like the feeling of, like, things moving through her... For, like, and having to, like, like, poop and stuff? Yeah, I understand. Like, I get it. She's I mean, like, extremely neurotic. <laughs> but, like, I knew that about her. <laughs> Actually, there is... We do know what it's like for Pearl to try to raise a baby. And we know... doesn't go well. We do know what it's like for Pearl to try to, ra- try to raise that child. <laughs> it doesn't go well. No. None of it. N- none, of it none of it goes well. Um, interesting connection, though. He does look a lot like Pearl. I think it's just the art style. Yeah. But he's also so pale. Yeah. He's like pale. green. Number eight. Shigaraki. My Hero Academia. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I really thought that was a horse. <laughs> I really, really thought that I was looking at I mean, a horse. yeah, if I, if I, like, close one eye and make the other one blurry. Like, I just didn't know how to make sense of the picture. <laughs> Um, I see it now. Many hands. Um, this is from My Hair Academia. Okay. Oh, I was gonna guess something else. This is a person who has a quirk where they have multiple hands. Okay. Multiple non-attached hands. Okay, what's that called? Detached? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, and... His father raised him to use his hands for good um, and for productivity, but he refuses to. And so instead, what he does is perform elaborate skits using his hands. <laughs> and like, it's like an art form. And so this is in the middle of one of those skits. It's like, a, it's like about the, the, the theme is like about self-sabotage. Okay. <laughs> What kind of relationship do you think he has to the main characters? I don't know anything about the main characters. Um. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he's a hero or a villain or a civilian? What do you think? He is an artist. <laughs> <laughs> that is all he is. Like his, 
his, his alignment is art. Loyalty is to the art. <laughs> um, um, which means that he ends up being like in the way a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Academia team go, and then like, <laughs> and they're gonna have to fight the bad guy, and this guy's over here and, like doing a mime, like he's in a box with all his hands, like a mime act. <laughs> Um, and then they don't, and then they're like, you get over, get your ass over here and help us fight, and he always has this, like, he's like, no, no, let me explain my art to you, because you, you're a simpleton and you don't understand, that's why you don't support why it. Why don't you, why don't you explain Suzuki? <laughs> <laughs> you're a simpleton. Um, and so that's what his, that's, that's, like, so he's not helpful at all. Uh, <laughs> but he also isn't necessarily, like, a strictly a villain. That's the same. Um... I will accept normal name or also like performance name or whatever you want. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> Andy. Handy okay. Andy. Handy Andy. Don't. <laughs> oh my god. Um. And this scene. Okay. Okay. So I said self sabotage, but honestly, he he kind of just looks like he's trying to. He's going for a horse. Like he's, <laughs> trying, he's trying to accomplish. Um. I don't know. He plays elaborate pranks on people using the hands occasionally. He just wants to be the center of attention. Really. <laughs> I mean, accurate. <laughs> like, that's all he really wants out of life, so. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Okay. He's like a senior student at the school. A senior student? Like, he should have graduated by now. How old do you think he is? Like, 24. <laughs> <laughs> But he, just, he won't graduate. He won't get enough credits to graduate. He fails every class. On <laughs> purpose, as a commentary. <laughs> okay. Can I make guesses since I haven't seen this either? Sure. I'll be shorter. I think this is a villain. Okay. Shelby, you gotta understand with anime, you can't see his irises. That makes him evil. Oh, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's my pretty much my only guess. He's a villain. I'm gonna say his name is It Chigaga. Ichigawa. 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 Okay. Ichigawa. What do you think think this cork is? I have no fucking clue. (laughs) Okay. Why are there so many hands? And they're (laughs) connected? The question that I've read my hero academia. (laughs) Like, they're connected. Like, I can't decide if, like, his quirk is related to the hands or the hands are just, like, accessories. And (laughs) And, like, he looks like he's being tortured by the hands. But I have to imagine that they have something to do with this quirk because why the fuck would you Go around like that. I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Everything else I agree with, Michelle. Okay. His alignment is art. <laughs> okay. Uh, good guess. <laughs> this character is from My Hero Academia. Uh, see, I was gonna guess Parasite, which I don't think you've even I seen. I have not seen. I've been recommended. It looks like some weird it. shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are a villain. Woo! Um, his name is Shigaraki. I was not the close. hands have nothing to do with his quirk. What the fuck? <laughs> what? His quirk is disintegration, so he can, like, touch things and dis- it disintegrate it. So they're, like, thematic decorations. Perhaps. I, there, <laughs> so, there's obviously a lot more manga that has come out than, than anime, so there's a lot that I've heard about Shigaraki that I'm not sure is true, and I'm not going to reveal any of it because I don't know. You know, I just don't know. So he always looks like that? Sometimes he does moves the hands. Yes. Okay. Sometimes he removes the hands. Um, usually he doesn't have hands around his throat, actually, because the thing about him is that he, like, scratches at his throat a lot with his real hands. And, um, he's extremely menacing. He's he's pretty young. I would say he's, I don't know that he has a specific age, um, but he's, like, in his early 20s, I think. Um, definitely his dad did not raise him. <laughs> uh, She's like, we don't know who did, but it definitely wasn't his dad. No. Um, and he is a child. <laughs> like, he acts like a child. He does want a lot of attention. His goal, amongst others, is to um, kill All Might. That's, like, kind of everybody's goal, honestly. Kill All What? All Might. Oh. Who's All Might? He's the main, like, main hero character in, oh. in like, the, the, the world, basically. Like, mostly in Japan, but, like, kind of in the whole world. Um... And there's not that much I can reveal about him. He 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 he's, he's a So the man. hands move? 
Like, they move positions? He, they don't, like, move themselves. He moves them. That is a he definitely don't, bold fashion he statement. He dons the hands, for sure. He wakes up in the morning, and he puts his hands on. This scene, I believe, is at the mall. <laughs> Honestly, I look like that at the mall. <laughs> That's on the kid. <laughs> that was my first thought when she said, like, that they have nothing to do with this cork. I was like, oh, he's just very emo. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, pretty much. Oh my god. Um, it's debatable whether or not his hair is naturally that color. It's very pretty. Does he not look like a horse? <laughs> yeah, if I, like, squint, he does kind of look like a horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does. A little bit. He would not be happy if you told him that. <laughs> um, I would never speak to a person who looked like that. <laughs> I'd run the fucking other way. <laughs> That's weird. I mean, you really should. He's, he's like, quite a villain. Was, really this, sh- was this show, like, when they were design- doing the character design for this show in Monica, were they thinking about cosplay? Like, were they like, we just want to make mm. some wacky characters for people to cosplay? I don't God, know. Because Stop him it. and the guy you, you did for Halloween. Have That's weird true. Appearances. That's true. Would that have nothing to do with their course? Yeah. That's true. Gitty, gitty, ya, ya, ta, ta. Is that a horror anime? No. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that, too, because, um... That looked like it was pretty. That's why it was Parasite. <laughs> no, I would say it's definitely more of like a um, superhero, like action anime. Number nine, Vash the Stampede, Trigun. Oh, I know who this is. I've seen this. You have? I've seen some of this, yeah. Oh, yeah, you have. <laughs> That's right. I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big fucking dope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He, he's like wanted, but nobody knows if it's nobody. Everybody thinks that it's not him who's the wanted man, but it definitely is. But it's not because he's actually threatening. It's because he's a big fucking idiot and <laughs> he just fucks shit up. Um, he hates violence, or so he says, and he's afraid of blood, and he never shoots because he's afraid of blood and hates violence. Um, although he carries around a gun all the time for no reason. I, I stopped listening. Are you describing things that you know? Or yeah, you know? these are things that I know about the I think character. She's seen like a few episodes. Okay, I've seen okay. a few episodes. Um, he's he's also a little bit of a pervert. He really likes food. He never has any money. <laughs> it's so relatable. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's like a, the twenty. He there's like a bounty on his head for like twenty million double dollars or something. Some, something. Twenty do- million double dollars. That's what it says. <laughs> I even- you should have done this to her because <laughs> that's a double dollar. I just, honestly, I'd forgotten that you'd seen a little bit, but there's like a lot of it that you haven't seen. Yeah, that I don't know. So you're getting a lot of stuff right, but there's also like some follow up questions that I can okay. ask. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, double dollar. It's, 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 it's like a dystopia. It's like not. It's not set in this universe. Most of the world is like the desert. That's what it's called. Yes. A dystopia. No. no the, 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 the currency. Be, the currency, yeah. That's a hilarious phrase. I'm sorry. <laughs> Double dollar. <laughs> <Double dollars. laughs> um, you were actually close on the uh, um, amount, too. 20 million? 10 million? I'm going to say that. 100 I, million? I'm going to say half the amount that I'm actually it's trying to say. It's a lot of money. Say that. Like, <laughs> like, man, this shirt costs 10 double dollars. <laughs> 20 double dollars. Or 20 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he... I don't know why he wears that coat. Because <laughs> that's how everybody knows him. They're like the guy with the red coat and the blonde hair and the big gun. That's the guy with the bounty on his head. But I don't know why. He like he has this un- like unusual attachment to this red coat. Um, <laughs> he's also really good at avoiding being shot and being caught. Like that's his only skill really. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dodging. <laughs> Got ya. Um... Um, but he likes to help people. I don't really know why. Um, that's about it. No guesses for the name? I don't remember. Um, um the, the name of the show is Trigun. Yes. <clears throat> it's like, mm, what does it start with? No, don't tell me. <laughs> I have a guess for I'm going to. <laughs> Um, wait, let me make my guess first. This is my person. Um, I don't remember, dude. Um, it's like, mm, uh, Nenemura. 
Nenamura. Nenamura. You got it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm oh. kidding. I'm kidding. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Because probably because of the guns. Mm. <laughs> How many were there? Um, <laughs> a lot. There's like at least like six in each well, episode. Three. Try, yeah. <laughs> um, what are your follow up questions? Um, yeah. So, can you? Do you think he has a love interest? He has several love interests, none of which are real. <laughs> what does that <laughs> mean? They're imaginary? Like, no, like. Like, he pretends that he actually cares about them, and so they, they think that he, like, likes them, and they're like, you fucker, like, you stupid, you're dumb, and he's like, tee but he doesn't actually care that much about dating any of them. Hmm. Interesting. That's my guess. Okay. Um, how many guns do you think he usually has? <laughs> Just one. Just the one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... I know it's called try guns, so I'm probably wrong. <laughs> But I don't really care. <laughs> this one. Um. Well, yeah, the gun is like super fancy, isn't it? I remember that now. It's like someone important made it for him. I love that you describe his power as like dodging. <laughs> That's so funny. It's his only skill. <laughs> so wait, so like, if you had to rate his gunmanship on a scale of one to it's ten, negative three. <laughs> Like boulder if it was like three feet in front of him. Oh my god! <laughs> and okay. he refused to either way. Um, <laughs> I don't. Know, I guess this is sort of a leading question. Do you think he's human? Oh well, now that you say that. <laughs> no. Did you realize that in Trigun there are things that are not human? No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I probably should have guessed because I got to the episode where there was like that massive human, like massive creature. So I probably should, but I never, no, I never thought about that. Oh, you mean the guy with the gun? For a hand? He's like, like a gun with yes, a hand. Yes, he's got like the, yeah. The, the guy with the gun. The gun. They all have guns, Katie. There's a different huge person I was thinking about. <laughs> um, I mean, you did really well. <laughs> Thank you. What's his name? Bash the Stampede. Oh, fuck. Bash the Stampede, yeah. And the that. bounty is $20 billion. Oh, fuck. But you were so close. <laughs> That's $40 million. <laughs> I do have one more question. So, without spoiling anything, um, let's just say that if the bounty on him was justified, what do you think he did? Oh, didn't there's like talk about how he like completely destroyed an entire like city, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, he like somehow managed to topple an entire <laughs> fucking city. I think maybe it had to do with something him him, him being like possessed or something, or like like, not conscious of his his actions, or either that, or he is secretly, like, a really good gunman, and, like, it's, like, the duality thing, where he, like, pretends to be a dope, but he's actually, like, a cold-blooded fucking killer, which, like, I don't know if that's preferable. <laughs> I kind of like that he's a big dope. I don't know. Um, yeah. Thanks. He's not a human? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'll say, because I don't want to spoil anything. Oh, you got more episodes to watch. Oh, man. All right. You did really good, though. Thanks. <laughs>